Now, just because you've chosen to forego the razor does not mean you should forego care of your beard. A great beard requires attention, maintenance, and a good regimen, not just in terms of styling your beard, but in terms of skincare. So I've come to the experts right here in my hometown of Brooklyn, New York at Neighborhood Cut and Shave. So we're gonna to speak to one of the founders about not only how to style your beard, but how to care for it, how to care for your skin, and how to get the most out of your bearded experience. All right, so this gentleman is Tommy. He's one of the founders, managers over here at Neighborhood Cut and Shave. Now you have a beard yourself. I have one as well. Should you brush through and comb through a beard? Yeah, it's best to use a, a board hair bristle brush, um, kind of like a wave brush that you can get pretty much at any drugstore for a dollar. Um, what's actually gonna do is gonna exfoliate your skin and it's going to teach your beard direction to grow downwards instead of straight off your face. What can you do to make sure the skin underneath your beard is in the best health possible. A heavier grit face scrub, something with definitely with some like apricot bits into it, um, because that's really gonna get in between the beard and really scrub it out. That way you don't have a flaky beard. And then a usually like a face lotion that's a little bit more on the watery side, that way it actually penetrates. And then most of all, a beard oil. All right, so I'm gonna let one of the experts take me through not only the styling of a beard, but proper beard care. So what's a great way to sort of find the parameters to make sure you have a properly trimmed the beard? The best way to do it is actually to put your finger on the top of your Adam's apple, mm -hmm. and then right at the top of your finger is actually the perfect place. That way when you look at your face, you are not seeing any beard below your chin, but you're also not seeing skin all the way up. That way it's just, it's just a nice, just under the chin. So finger on the top of the Adam's apple and, and then from the back of that finger forward. Yeah. And just and beard. just lean it and just right to your ears. And then and it goes a straight line, or is there a a, a, a way to sort of you follow the jawline? Do you go it, further it, back? So you want, what you want to do is you want to find just a finger below the jawline yep. and a finger above the Adam's apple, and you just want to connect the two of them. All right, excellent. Is there a rule for trimming the beard? Is it much like shaving, you go with the grain? What's the deal for trimming it? You actually wanna go against the grain, that way the hair falls into the clipper. You just wanna pass up. Now, if you wanna keep your beard on the longer side, but you just wanna clip the little pieces coming off, that would be good to put on a larger attachment and go with the grain. That way it just gets the little pieces that are hanging off the beard. I want it to look like I chose to have a beard rather than I haven't been able to shave in a while. So for me, if I wanted to tighten this up. Um, can can you just show me, I mean, how you would trim it to make it nice and clean, but Absolutely. still a beard? Let's do it. Right. Let's say if your beard is longer, you don't want to use a clipper. The trick would be to comb the beard down, mm -hmm. and then look for the little errant hairs that hang out, and you never touch the scissor to the beard, because then you end up with the tiger stripe beard. What you want to do is just little errant hairs that are hanging off, and just touch them in the mirror. You can get. I mean, literally any scissor from a drugstore, as long as it's not like, you know, craft scissors. I like to go in with a scissor and just lighten it up just a tiny bit so it's not so stark. That's what keeps it from looking like too perfect because at the end of the day, you want it to be groomed, but you don't want to look like you have a perfect beard. So this is sort of, you know, like almost like a fade. Like yeah, exactly. In the beard. If you notice that your beard is, if you're a little bit heavier in the mustache and the and the goatee area, the trick is to do a three and then to run a number two along that. That way it all looks the same way. The clippers I use, the professional clippers I use are walls. The wall peanut is a very small clipper that's actually more powerful or just as powerful as a lot of the bigger clippers. Now it's great, they also sell a cordless one. If you, you know, for some of us that live in New York City, you don't have a lot of space and you don't have a place to plug something in to clippers. So this has a little charging station. Now, another big thing is make sure you get a clipper disinfectant spray. I mean, you could find them at a lot of places and spray it out, because it'll actually lube, and it'll, a lot of people leave their clippers in the, in the, in the bathroom. Yeah. When they shower, there's a lot of steam and they'll rust. Yeah. So, um, and this sells a five-in-one, um, actually, I have one right here. It sells a five-in-one, um, it's called Cool Care, and it'll lubricate. And you you want to spray that on, especially if you're sticking it to your lips and your face, just to like disinfect and to, it prevents rust and it lubricates it. And you know, that's really important because, you know, next thing you know, you're getting like ingrown hairs and you're getting infected and it looks like you have an okay. issue. Yeah.
So now that I've had a professional trim, both top lip, mm. we've trimmed the sides, those errant hairs that you spoke of, what would I do next? Um, next, you would actually apply a beard oil. What, what brand do we have here? This is Gibbs. So I put just two drops in my hand, I rub it. I always rub all the oils in, that way it's, it's all over my hands. And then I just kinda just rub it through the beard and just, you know, make sure it gets in there. It really, it's as simple as that. I mean. And then do you it, brush through at the end? No, it, that's it. I usually brush first. You really, it, you can't get much more simpler than applying that. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want any more videos like this on how to stay well-groomed, you have to subscribe. I'm Adam Richmond. Thanks for watching Well-Groomed.